Got a tag by Dandy. Thank you for the tag. He sends me this picture of the politicians in Japan using the Demon Slayer-esque promo. And he sends me another picture, something that I can only explain as an abomination. By the way, if you're not familiar with the Demon Slayer situation, I'll link that video in the description for you. It's only 50 seconds long. And now back to this thing. So let me disclaim that I don't read Italian and I'm no expert in Italian politics, but I did some due diligence to figure out what's going on here. And I think I got the gist of it, so let me try and explain this one. Just a couple days ago, on February 13th, 2021, Mario Draghi was sworn in as Italy's Prime Minister. There you go. That's the new Prime Minister of Italy for you. Now, going back to this picture from the Panorama cover, which is apparently an Italian news organization, and I suppose they're trying to show Draghi as Goku. Although I don't think Draghi would be too happy about that illustration of himself, uh, just saying. And for additional context, let's try and translate the text at the bottom of the cover. Celebrated as a superhero of the Republic, or on the other front, branded as an agent on a mission for the elites. Wait, are they implying Goku's a superhero or some, like, secret agent? Oh my gosh. Uh, back at this. Between the Panamania that does not grant respite, and the crisis that burns places of Lavaro, Mario Draghi, the test blew difficult to give a government to Italy. Okay, not sure how helpful that context was, but the point seems simple here. This is yet another crossover between anime and politics. And as we've seen in the past, this sort of crossover is usually a rather cringy thing. I do hope your entertainment from this video is more than the cringe you received, though. Let me know your takes in the comments. I'm excited to see them. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time.